instead of scrolling on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, looking at everybody else's classroom decorating ideas, let's spend the next five minutes just figuring out your classroom theme that you can get excited about. What's going on everybody and welcome to the Pursuit of Excellence family. I'm Daryl Williams Jr. and I maximize student growth by developing their life skills, mindsets, and character. And today we're talking about how to create your own classroom theme because kidnapping somebody else's is never gonna be as satisfying as creating your own. Now, it's an amazing idea to look at other people's classroom themes to get an inspiration. As a matter of fact, I was looking at a couple of different teachers. And one is Miss Parker Smith. She's a middle school math teacher. I'm gonna link her video down below. She vlogged about how she created her classroom and it's just so clean, it's so nice. She went into detail about how she organized everything. You guys can definitely check that out if that's your vibe. But there's also another teacher I'll link, Miss Molly. She's elementary. She has a lot of color. She has a lot of pop. She also is really well organized. And she also goes through the, the full tutorial of how to set up the classroom. So I'll link both of those videos so you can check it out and really get some decorating ideas. But if you just kidnap their ideas, it's not going to help you feel fulfilled. Because when you kidnap something, it's not your own. But if you adopt something, that means that you made it your own. So look at their ideas, but we're gonna figure out how to take their ideas or take anybody's ideas, but also make it your own. So I'm gonna go through some bullet points, but I, you can follow along in the classroom generated tool that I created, linked in the description below. Download that PDF so you can follow right along with how to create your classroom theme that you get excited about this school year. First thing that you wanna do is start with your vision. And what I like to describe the vision as is what you want to be true for 100% of your students. Every single student that's in your class, what do you envision for them this school year? So that's not a goal, right? That's not, I want 70% mastery because that leaves out 30% of your students. But what is the vision that you want for every single student? Start with that and then every other facet of your classroom aligns directly to your vision. The next thing that you wanna think about is your budget. You wanna decide how much money you wanna spend on your classroom this school year. Fun fact, I probably spent about $100 out of my own pocket building my classroom themes over the last nine school years. And I have some coworkers that spent $700 in one year, no exaggeration, $700 on her classroom. And if that's you, then that's you. If you decide you're gonna spend 700 on your room, do it. If you decide you only spend 100 or only spend 50, do it. But what's important is start with the budget. A budget tells your money where to go so that you don't end up wondering where it went. So decide, this is how much money I'm comfortable spending on the budget. And remember, linking it back to your vision, how can I make this vision come true on this dollar amount. The next thing that you wanna do is think about your students' interests because you want them to be invested and you want them to feel comfortable in that classroom. Think about demographically, think about age appropriateness, think about what your students like. And I'm not saying that every classroom has to be TikTok theme or Roblox theme, right? But you want them to be comfortable in that classroom. So it's not 100% just about what you like, but you also want them to walk in and feel warm, feel invited, feel like this is a place where they wanna be, where they wanna spend time throughout the day. The next step, Think about what you like, right? Because you have to be the one that is now going to be consistent with that theme because it's not just about the decorations. It's also about your call and responses. It's also about your rules, your policies, your procedures, your expectations, um, all the rest of the decorations, your bulletin boards. Think about what you like because you have to be the one that is consistent with it. You have to be the one that is comfortable putting this on parent communication and getting excited about it and talking about it with your coworkers and your admin team and things of that nature. All right, so after you determine what they like and what you like, now let's make it catchy. People love alliteration like Mr. Williams Warriors, right? Or people love rhyming like Mr. Williams Williams. <laughs> Not that, don't do that. But like, think about how to make it catchy because this is gonna be your theme for the whole year. And this one is huge. Make sure that you're only using two to three colors of patterns because think about any kind of branding. When you think about Starbucks or Target or Chick-fil-A or any other of your favorite brands, you don't have to see the logo to know that this came from Chick-fil-A or that this came from Starbucks, right? Because they have consistent fonts, they have consistent patterns, they have consistent colors, and that's the same thing that you want for your classroom theme. And then get students and families excited about it. Like, you know when you go to a concert and they're like, you guys ready to have a good time? And everybody's like, yeah. And they're like, are you ready to have a good time? And everybody's like, yeah, right? So that's what you need to do with your classroom theme. Make sure that they're getting excited about it. Get everybody excited about the classroom theme that you have for the year because once they get excited about it, they get bought into it. Now they have this ownership of it and now they are really invested and comfortable in that class because it's somewhere where they want to be. It's something that they feel that they have a connection to and it's somewhere where they feel comfortable. Now in the next 
next video, we're gonna talk about your number one priority for the first day of school. So subscribe so that you don't miss when that one comes out. But in the meantime, check out these two videos that I was talking about, about Miss Parker Smith's middle school classroom and Miss Molly's elementary classroom to get some classroom decorating ideas. I'll see you in the next video.